Tony Girls 7A Regional Semi-Final, Hewitt Trusville defeats Spackman. It was never in doubt. Even when the opponent found its footing, Hewitt Trusville's Deona Jones kept rebounding and Order Benson kept shooting, and everybody made their mark at the foul line. The fourth-ranked Huskies put together a dominant first-half defensive effort before holding off a late rally in a 61-45 victory over No. 6 Sparkman today in a girls' Class 7A Northeast Regional Semi-Final at Jacksonville State's Pete Matthews Coliseum. Hewitt Trusville built a 9-2 lead more than halfway through the opening frame and dominated the second period on its way to a 31-12 halftime advantage. The Huskies shot 50% from the field while holding Sparkman to 14.8% in the first half and only four points in the second quarter. Coming out of the break, Hewitt Trussville expanded the lead to 25 points in the first two minutes but allowed the Senators to find their shot near the end of the third frame. Sparkman shot just under 50% in the second half but was unable to dig itself out of the hole created in the first half. Star of the game, Deona Jones, the senior forward finished with 13 points, 9 rebounds, 5 blocks, 2 assists, and a steal. She was 6, 4, 12 from the field and logged 3 offensive boards. When I see that ball go up, I know it's either going in or it's going out. Only two things it's going to do. I'm looking up, being ready to get the ball, and I rebound it and put it up or pass it to one of my guards for a 3, she said. Stat sheet, Hewitt Trussville Order Benson led the Huskies with a game-high 16 points, including 2 rebounds, and Jordan Hunter had 14 points, 5 rebounds and 5 assists. April Hooks had 10 points, 6 rebounds and two assists and Chris Gandria James and Sour Phillips had four points each, combining for seven rebounds. Sparkman, Kennedy Lanham and Abethany James led the Senators with 12 points each, the former adding six rebounds and two steals, and Maya Cable finished with nine points and two boards. Jemiah Griffin had six points and four rebounds, Kezia Rogers had three points and Nyla Fuller had two points. Jalea O'Neill scored only a single point but contributed four rebounds and a block and steal. Madison Nisbet added ten rebounds and two steals. By the numbers, 18 the number of fouls committed by Sparkman resulted in a 14, 4, 24 showing at the charity stripe for Hewitt Trussville. 7. The number of steals by Hewitt Trussville. 0. The number of lead changes in the game as Hewitt Trussville led the entire way. Did you know? Hewitt Trussville advances to its third regional final appearance in the last four seasons. The Huskies are seeking their second straight trip to the state tournament. Coach Beak, our area is the toughest area in the state. Any team that comes out of this regional, they're going to be in the state championship game. I get an opportunity to coach against that all January long and our girls get to play in that. It helps tremendously. Hewitt Trussville coach Tonya Hunter. They said it, it was the cutting, knowing I could get past and make layups, creating plays. Benson. Going into the game, the keys to win was defense and rebounding. We definitely defended and rebounded. We knew our role on defense and where to help. Hooks. Next up, Hewitt Trussville faces Vestavia Hills in the Northwest Regional Final, Monday, February 21st, at JSU's Pete Matthews Coliseum.